Along Minglaba. Hello everyone. Greetings to all of you. This is Kenneth Wong, General Kenneth Wong Ma, a Burmese American writer, blogger, and language instructor. Welcome to another episode of Beginning Burmese. In this lesson, I'll teach you to deal with some problematic compound verbs, those that involve more than one word. Specifically, the way you convert them from affirmative to negative. There is something about them that makes them tricky to handle for people who are not native Burmese speakers. First, let's take a look at a simple verb like see, which is to ride, as in ride a car, ride a train, or ride a bike. So, nyamale sabain sire, nyamale sabain sire, that means little sister rides bicycles. Let me break this down for you. Nyamale is the word for younger sister, so little sister. Sabain, or mechanical wheel, is how the Burmese refers to bicycles. Si is your verb, to ride. What is this, de? That's the affirmative sentence and particle. The rules of negating a one-word verb like si seem simple enough. You put a ma in front of the verb, and then you change the affirmative sentence and de into a negative sentence and bu. So, you end up with nyamale sebein masi bu. Nyamale sebein masi bu. Sister doesn't ride bicycles. This rule holds true for all simple one-word verbs. For example, pere to give, the negative form is mapebu. Pyore, to speak, the negative form is mapyobu. Shire, to have or to exist, and the negative form is mashibu. Now take a look at a verb like yeku, to swim, which comes in two words. So if you want to say, your sister knows how to swim or she swims, you can say, Nyamale yekure. Nyamale yekure. My little sister swims. Again, a breakdown here. Nyamale is the word for little sister. Yeku is your verb to swim. And de is the affirmative sentence end. But to negate the verb yeku, you actually need to know what the real verb is in that cluster. You see, a compound verb like to swim, yeku, has two parts. Ye is the word water, noun, and ku is your true verb, the real verb, the operative verb. Ku means to cross, so in Burmese, to swim is literally to go across a body of water. Now, with that knowledge, you can see that you don't really need to negate ye, the noun part of that verb. All you have to do is negate the actual verb, ku, to cross. So, you can now say, nyamale ye makubu. Nyamale ye makubu. My sister doesn't cross the water. My sister doesn't swim. You cannot say, nyamale maye kubu. That's wrong. That's a common mistake that some beginners tend to make. Let's take another example. Taunjima nen chare. Taunjima nen chare. Break down for you here. Taunji is the city's name. Taunji ma means in Taunji or at Taunji. Nen cha is to snow in the affirmative form, and de is the proper affirmative sentence. And once again, to properly negate the verb to snow or nen cha, you need to break it up into its components. Ne is the word snow noun and cha is the operative verb to fall so if you need to say it doesn't snow in Taoji what you need to negate is actually the verb to fall not the whole thing now you can say Taoji ma ne ma cha bu Taoji ma ne ma cha bu it doesn't snow in Taoji you can apply this formula to many other compound verbs like for example mo yua to rain and ne ta to be sunny in mo yua, the first word mo is rain, noun. And the second word jua is the true verb, which means to shower, to come down. In ne tha, the first word ne is sun, noun. And second word tha is the true operative verb, to be bright, to shine. So if you need to negate them, you have to say mo me yua bu. It's not raining. Mo me yua bu. And for the other one, ne ma tha bu. It's not sunny. Ne ma tha bu. Let's take a look at dreaming, shall we? Nyaga eng memete. Nyaga eng memete. Last night I had a dream. I'll break it down for you. Nya is last night. The particle ga marks the time frame when this event happened. Eng memet is your verb to dream. De is the affirmative sentence and. 
But take a closer look at the verb to dream, the expression amen me. That is made up of two parts as well. A me is the noun, dream, and me is to dream, the verb, the operative verb. I know this sounds repetitive and redundant, but in Burmese, when you say you have a dream or you dream, you actually have to say, I dream a dream. With that understanding, you'll come to know that if you need the negative form, you'll have to change the me, the operative verb. So, nyaga ing me 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 pu. Nyaga ing me 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 pu. Last night, I didn't have a dream. The affirmative sentence and particle de and the negative sentence and bu is sometimes pronounced de and pu following certain verbs. Me happens to be one of those verbs. Some of you might be looking at the examples I've just given and thinking to yourself, hmm, it seems whenever there is a compound verb, the last word is the true operative verb. So if I need to get the negative form, I'm just going to deal with that last word as the verb and convert that into the negative form. Well, not so fast. Take a look at the verb myonlin. Myonlin. That's the verb that means to hope for or to expect something or somebody. But this is not a case where one of the words is a noun and another a verb. Both words are part of that cluster and both words are required to make the meaning myonlin. So you cannot say in this case myonlin bu. That would be wrong. You have to negate the whole cluster with a ma in front of both words. You have to say limbu. That's how you say not expecting, not hoping for something or someone. Here's one more verb for you to consider. It's to be united and to be in sync, to be in solidarity. And that's pronounced nya. If you want to say a group of people is of the same mind, they are united, they are in solidarity, you say Turo nyinyare. Turo nyinyare. This is also another one of those verbs where both words are required to make the meaning united to be in solidarity. You cannot break it up. So you cannot say Turo nyinyabu. That's wrong. You'll have to say Turo nyinyabu in order to get the negative form to say they are not united, they are not of the same mind, they are not in sync. When you are dealing with a compound verb, that's a common action that is described in a cluster of words. My recommendation is that you try to identify the true verb, the operative verb, in that cluster. Ask your instructor if the expression can be broken up, and if so, if there is a hidden verb, a true verb. If that's not the option, maybe you need to look up each word separately in the dictionary to figure out if one of them happens to be an operative verb. That's a lot of new verbs that you've just learned today, so I think we should stop here. Thank you very much for watching. Namatwe me. I'll see you later. I'm Kenneth Wong, signing off.